It's a unique blend of fine arts, crafts, music, food, and fun. The Lakeshore Art Festival is returning to downtown Muskegon. And here with all of the details is the festival's director, Carla Flanders. Hi, Carla. Hello. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. We're glad you're here. The Lakeshore Art Festival, let's start with the art. Obviously, yes. it's an art festival. Yes. This is a juried selection, right? Yes, this, this, it is. You, who's, who's picking these pieces? Well, we have a team <laughs> that is comprised of artists, uh, crafters, and um, people that have been doing this for quite some time. Right. We all sit in a room for about six hours, no kidding, and go through every single picture of every single person that submitted, and we, we jury them into the show or maybe not into the show. Right. Um, and so from this, this year, we have um, 100 fine artists that will be in Hackley Park. And then we also have 160 crafters, all handmade products, no buy sell. In um, on Fourth Street and Western Avenue, if you're familiar with downtown that is a, That's a lot. Yeah, that, that is yeah. a lot to, yeah. to, to go to a hundred of, of one and 160 of the yes. other. So yep. we're talking. This is a big deal. This is a big yeah, deal. We're, this... we're shutting down Muskegon. This is this is where everybody's going to be. That's right. That's right? that's our plan. That's what we're hoping for. And and beyond just the arts and the crafts, the food. I mean, people come down here for this as well. Yes, we have 22 food vendors oh my as well. Gracious. And with that, a lot of local favorites like Fatty Lumpkins, Ice box brand, Yodel's frozen yogurt, but then we also have a lot of those festival favorites like the fresh squeezed lemonade, <laughs> elephant ears, and uh, we have this uh, guy that makes amazing Greek food and he's got like all displayed and it's just amazing. That ice box brand is one of my oh, favorites. <laughs> right, love it. Right. Love it's it. Good. That's good stuff. <laughs> and so we're getting some shots right now. Oh look, there's some stuff for the kids too. I saw some yeah. face painting. Is that uh, obviously something to bring the kids to as well? Yes, indeed. We have a whole children's lane and the children's lane is a full block and uh, that's also on Western Avenue. We have about 15 units that will be there as well. They'll be face painting. I do have some samples on the table as well. Mm -hmm. There'll be some slime. Oh, some, some gotta have slime. <laughs> and right? um, the hometown pharmacy will be giving away um, vitamins for kids, and That's it's a cool. program that they do, so they'll be giving that away. Don't leave this out now. We've got some sidewalk yes. chalking to do. We're gonna get to that in a second because yeah. you're gonna have a big sidewalk chalk event. Yes, yeah. But before we get there, uh, so beyond the food and the arts and the crafts, you got performances. So the street performers are gonna be there as well. Yes, we have. Have, um, two stages and other various locations throughout the festival where we will have performers performing <laughs> throughout the day both days so you can come on down eat some food um, you know, do some shopping, and we're in the social district, so okay. that's another that, bonus. That doesn't hurt, does it? <laughs> right, right. So, so the social district obviously, obviously means that you can take alcoholic beverages out of the pubs in, into the streets in certain areas, so enjoy yeah. the sunshine in the day and, and all yeah. of that, and the weather looks like it's going to yeah. be good, right? Yeah. Who's David Zinn? Who, I, meant, I saw that David Zinn is a big name here. Yes. Who, who is, I don't know who that is. Well, let me tell, tell you. Me, please. <laughs> David Zinn is an amazing street artist. Okay. Street artist. He's internationally recognized. He's actually from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Oh, really? But um, he will be here. You'll see some of the things on the screen here. He's actually here right now prepping. And we will have eight to ten installations in downtown Muskegon within the festival footprint where, where you will just see whimsical little creatures around our footprint. And it's going to be kind of a little bit of a scavenger hunt. We'll show on social media where the items are and you can come down and check it out. And on Saturday, he will be there doing a live um, drawing on location. This is fun. Yeah. I love this. So you just find these little, uh, he's making a little critter right there. It looks like a little elephant. Yeah. And what he, use, he does is he uses the nooks and crannies of the space that he's working with. So if if there's a tuft of grass or a little crack in the sidewalk, he, he creates from that and Wait uses that as part of his art. I think I just made the connection. I think I have seen his work. Yeah, you, so I mean, you got to check him out. He'll work with like fire hydrants or yes, a crack in the sidewalk yes, and, and incorporate that into his work. I have seen his work. That's it's impressive guy. stuff. Yeah. And then, of course, this, the chalk, the walk. Right. Obviously, this is everybody gets their hands a little dusty here, That's right? right. Yeah, so on Saturday from 4 to 6 p.m., we have the chalk, the walk event to kind of embrace David's Zinn art as well and to invite the community to participate and get creative. So the chalk that was on the table, we are giving away 1,500 bags of chalk. You can get that ahead of time at various locations throughout Muskegon. And then you can also get it at the festival. And then we will have piles of chalk along the street where the Chalk the Walk will be happening. You guys know how to throw a party. We sure do. You really do. <laughs> of course, but of course you couldn't do it alone. I'm sure you had some great sponsors to thank for this. Yes, definitely. Thanks for bringing that up. Um, DTE Foundation is a big one. We couldn't do it without them. Uh, blended Furniture Market, Shirtle provided, provided all of the chalk. 
Um, we have a lot of local businesses that participate, and we couldn't we could not do it without them. And of course, we want to go support these artists and support these yes. vendors and all this great local. I love it how you said there's no buy and sell. Everything that you're seeing there is made. You yes. just buy it and resell it. They've made these items. Right. So absolutely, that's, that's yeah. A, that's important for a lot of people. So let's yeah. check this out. When are we doing all of this? So that's this weekend, okay. Saturday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Sunday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And it is free. And you can find more information at lakeshoreartfestival.org. Well, Carly, you just did my job for me. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate all the great information. And uh, I hope you have a great festival. Weather looks great. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks so much for being here. That is the Lakeshore Art Festival, as you just heard, Saturday and Sunday from 9 to 6 and then 9 to 4 in downtown Muskegon, lakeshoreartfestival.org for more information. We'll be right back.